Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can follow me on Instagram as Knitter CNY. And thank you for joining me if you're a returning viewer. And also thank you for joining me if you are a new person who just stumbled across this podcast and is like, who is this lady? What is this all about? Um, to give you a little background, if you've never seen me before, um, I live in central New York. That's uh, the CNY part of my Ravelry name and my Instagram name. Uh, central New York, meaning Syracuse, New York. That's way, way upstate. If you look where Interstate 81 and Interstate 90 cross, that is a couple miles away from my house. Um, so I'm smack dab in the center of the state. We get a lot of snow here. Um, so I have a lot of opportunity to knit and crochet. I've been knitting and crocheting for over 31, 32 years, something along those lines. And I started podcasting Oh, maybe about 12 or 13, 14 years ago. It's been a long time. Uh, right now, if you are new and you like what you see in this podcast, please subscribe below um, and hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm posting new videos, which I usually do every Sunday. And today I have a couple of finished projects and a new project to talk about. Um, so I thought I would show this and it's going to be interesting to try and do this. I probably should have just worn it, but the cardigan that I have been working on for what seems like months, but isn't really months is done except for sewing on the buttons. And I even have the buttons. So if you will recall, this is a cardigan. This is a top-down raglan cardigan and it is out of some yarn from my stash mostly which was Wool Ease Chunky from Lion Brand which is a chunky yarn, a number five, which is 80% acrylic and 20% wool and the black, the blue, the gray and the cream are all the uh, wooly chunky and then I ran out of a little bit of yarn and I needed a transition along here and that is Lion Brand's Two of Wands Hue and Me and so this cardigan looks pretty good um, I'm going to put it on um, You'll have to pardon me for a moment so that you get a kind of preview of what this looks like. I'm only going to put it on one side because I've got the mic and I don't want to jostle the mic. But you get the idea. It is definitely um, a raglan cardigan with yarn overs and really nice collar. It came out the right size. I made a size large. The reason being is I don't tension my yarn and I knew from my gauge that it was going to come out really, really big if I tried to make a larger size. So I used the measurements for the size large and it came out to be my size, which is more like a 3X, 4X. So definitely gauge matters. Um, I didn't do a gauge squat, swatch, I just sort of guessed and came up with stuff. The buttons I'm going to use for this cardigan I've already bought. They're these. They look like leather but they're really plastic. They can go in the washer and the dryer and they're made in Italy. It's Blumenthal Lansing. Um, I bought them at Joann's and they're an inch and one eighth so that'll be nice and big. I'm going to hold up one of these buttonholes so you can see how it's going to look. It'll look like that on them. So very, a nice big button to go with the yarn. And it's a neutral color so it'll go with all of the yarn. Um, I have to get some thread and a needle and basically sew these on. It's a one shank button 
I may sew it to some other buttons, but I may not. Um, it just depends on how I feel about it. And I bought those buttons on sale. They were buy three packages, get two for free. So I think I paid nine bucks for 10 buttons, something along those lines. And so that cardigan is all done. Um, I'm very proud of myself that I got that done and I got seven balls of yarn out of my stash. Um, that's a good thing for me. And then I got six cakes of yarn out of my stash. Um, if you'll remember, I had a all for one comfort, all for one crochet blanket that was on my hook. And I didn't like this last weekend. And I said to my friend, I really hate doing this after crocheting a blanket for my boyfriend that was out of um, Bernat Baby Blanket, which is up here, which is a really thick yarn. It's a number six. And she said, well, why don't you just take two skeins of the worsted weight and put them together, two of the cakes? And I went, you're brilliant. Um, the yarn I used, one second, is Bernat Pop, which is a 100% acrylic yarn, which is going to be a very good thing because I finished a blanket in a week. I did a big giant granny square blanket and you can see what it looks like here. It's very wide. Um, it's kind of short, but it'll work. Um, this blanket will be donated to Project Linus. Um, I'm going to go to Joann's uh, this afternoon and drop it off because um, Joann's in our area is a pickup point for Project Linus, which provides blankets to kids who are sick and in the hospital. So um, it has to be 100% acrylic or, you know, a man-made fiber so that the yarn can go through the washer and the dryer. You know, parents have enough to worry about if a kid's in the hospital um, that they can wash a blanket. So it's a good thick, it's probably a teenager size or an elementary kid's size. Um, I'm not sure that it's the exact measurements that it needs to be, but it'll be close enough that it'll work. Um, because if it goes over me, it goes over a kid or a teenager. Um, and this blanket looks really good. Um, bright colors. I would guess probably a girl would like these colors. You know, because they're very bright. There's a lot of pink in there. Um, so that is good. And then the next project that I started today is out of some yarn that I got from... Facebook Marketplace a while ago, and it's not really that exciting. It's Lion Brand Homespun, and what I did was I wanted to make just a plain old blanket that's knitting that doesn't involve purling. It doesn't involve anything. It's just a plain old blanket. This is going to be like a lap size blanket or however big it turns out. It's either going to be for Project Linus as like a toddler blanket or it could be a for the nursing home as a lapgan. Um, it depends on how I feel about the colors when they come out. And the other two colors that I'm going to use um, were colors that also came with this black, um, which the black color is uh, called black. And then I have two other colors, which I don't know the names for because they don't have labels on them but you can kind of see how these all go together. That black thread and kind of the gray in here goes, and then there's a blue color. It's a navy color that kind of goes with it. I think it might be sapphire, I'm not really sure. But all three of these kind of go together, and I thought that'll make a nice blanket. And I'm using one of the needles that I got in that from a coworker who was cleaning out his grandmother's house. It's a US size 10 Susan Bates needle. Um, that's a six millimeter needle. And I'm just knitting back and forth. I cast on 63 stitches um, because I used the prayer shawl um, 
number to cast on for a homespun prayer shawl, but I didn't want to do knit three, purl three, and then do seed stitch and all of that and have the transition, especially with today with the Super Bowl starting. Um, I want something mindless that I can knit during the Super Bowl, and this fit the bill. Um, it's definitely not something complicated. You could do this too if you're just starting out knitting. Um, so you just cast on 63 on a size 10 needle, and you knit, 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 knit all of your rows, and you get a beautiful garter stitch blanket or shawl, depending on how... I'm using three skeins of yarn because that's what I have. And they're living in an old Target garden, gardening bag that I bought for $3 at the um, sale bins that they always have in the front. Um, so that seemed like a good thing because they all fit in there and it's, it's so ugly it's pretty. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to be working on. I don't know if I'm going to a Super Bowl party yet. The boyfriend may be coming over. He may not be coming over. Um, as we talked about, he is having open heart surgery on Friday. Um, they're replacing a valve that is faulty with a mechanical valve. Um, I will not get to see him for four to six weeks because he cannot drive. And even that, after that, that'll be kind of like we're going to be taking it easy watching a lot of TV, just relaxing, not doing a whole lot of other stuff like going out and heavy dates or anything like that. Um, so if you can, on Friday, the 18th of February, just think of him. Um, his name is Pete. And just think of him getting his surgery and it being successful and say a prayer if you're inclined to or just send some good energy vibes our way up here in Syracuse. That would be very much appreciated. And um, other than that, that's also one of the reasons I'm picking something relatively simple because my mind's going to be on that um, this week and this weekend, uh, this coming weekend. So I didn't want anything very complicated where I had to look at a pattern or do anything. Um, for those of you who are doing the Marley Bird uh, game day knit along, good luck to you. I've kind of looked at some of the videos and I'm kind of glad that I didn't pick that for today because I think I couldn't have handled all of the clues. I can do color work knitting and it doesn't look that complicated for at least the 11 o'clock play that came out, but um, I would be looking at the knitting part, not the Tunisian or the other. Um, and there's one more thing, but I don't know whether or not I'm keeping it or not. I've got these lava cakes. Um, I've got four of these in the nebulas colorway. Um, it's purples with blues and a burgundy. So lava cakes have the, the action going on in the center with a lot of like what would be the ganache, if you can think of that. And then this is the chocolate coating around it. Makes me want to have a lava cake at Chili's. Really does. And then, so the pattern on the label is the stacked from the middle crochet blanket. And you look at this and go, wow, that looks really simple. Well, it's not a square. <laughs> Let's start with that. It's not a square. It's a diamond. Okay. So it's a diamond. It uses a size J crochet hook, which I have a boy hook that I'm just using for it. And I started it. I don't know whether I'm going to keep going on it or not because I'm not sure whether I really like it or whether it's just a pain in the ass enough. So this is a, you start in the middle with a circle and then you start going, you make like a cross basically. You make a cross and then you start building on this cross outward. You use treble crochet. Um, that's the American version of treble crochet um, for our British viewers. Um, I don't know. I think it would be double treble for you. I can't remember the exact British term, but it's treble crochet in the U.S. So you get something kind of holy. 
I don't know whether I like the holy. I may go back and rip this out because I don't like the treble crochet either. And I may just do an all for one crochet blanket. Um, let me know how you feel about this. Um, it looks really pretty, but I don't know that it's going to be warm. And I don't know that I really like it, but I like using a size J crochet hook on it. Um, the all for one comfort blanket usually uses a size I hook, but I could use a J. Um, so let me know how you, what you think about that. Should I rip this out or should I keep going with it? Um, because I've got four of these cakes and it's going to drive me absolutely nuts to do this, but I could do it. Um, I've already got it started. Um, but I'm, my body is used to, my memory for crochet is used to doing double crochet for everything. And doing treble crochet is kind of like, wait, I have to stop and think. <laughs> so that's complicated. So I don't know that I keep want to keep doing it. But I love the look of the lava cakes. Um, they're really fun. I have a lot of color changing yarn, as you noticed. Um, I am trying to sell some yarn on Facebook Marketplace. I sold one bag of yarn, but so far nobody's bit for the other bag. So I think I'm going to decrease the price by five bucks and see if I get any takers. Um, and I'm trying to like use up the yarn that's in my stash. And I'm trying to think of, okay, do I have things in common, color changing yarns that I can use that are interesting, that I can do something with and I keep coming back to, okay, we must crochet it and it must be double the skeins. Um, one of the things I'm also doing today is frogging a sweater. It is the Delaney sweater that is with Craftsy and Lion Brand. Um, I started crocheting it. I did the entire back and then realized I had two different dye lots of the Karen Simply Soft in the sticks and stones colorway and i was like a it looks weird because they're two different dialects and you can clearly see they're two different dialects b i don't want to crochet a whole entire sweater with a size h crochet hook that yarn wants to be a blanket i don't know what kind of blanket it wants to be it might want to be a granny square blanket where i can put the dialects together and kind of cover up the fact they're different dialects and I already have, I had tried to make another sweater with it. And so I have a couple of balls of yarn where I have two strands of yarn rolled together in a ball already. So this is why I'm thinking it's going to be something with two skeins of yarn together. Because like this blanket went by in a week with six cakes of yarn. I have a lot of Karen Simply Soft, a lot of it. I don't know even know how many skeins I have, but if I put them together and I make a blanket, it'll be much better. And that would make a nice blanket for Project Linus, or it would make a nice gift blanket um, for the nursing home or relative or something. But that's what I want to do. I want to make a blanket with it because the colors are really weird. They look brown from far away, but when you look at them closely, they're um, like jewel tones of like a gray, a purple, a blue, sort of this weird mustardy color. I don't know how to explain it. You have to look at them closely in order to see the colors. And maybe you'll see something in a couple of weeks. Like I said, I'm frogging that today. Um, I've already frogged one of the beginnings of the front. And I just have to frog the back of it and put it all into my carpet bag that I have. That was my mom's. Um, she had like a carpet bag that had the, the dowels in it and a handle that's quilted. And it's the perfect bag for that because I feel like it needs to live in there and be a blanket and just, it was what it was meant to be. And this yarn is at least nine years old because my dad bought it for me. My dad bought me a hundred dollar gift card to Joanne's years and years ago before he was in the nursing home for Christmas one year. And so I bought all this yarn and then I bought some more at AC Moore. Um, I made a blanket with um, some of the yarn from there. Um, and that went to somebody in the family. I can't even remember who got it. 
um, one of the cousins probably. And so it's a blanket and this is going to end up being a blanket because I was like, I can't see me trying to make a sweater out of Karen Simply Soft. I don't know whether it'll hold up. And for me right now, chunky sweaters and chunky projects are the way to go. So you're going to be seeing a lot of chunky projects in my future. So maybe the lava cakes will be a chunky project. I don't know. Um, let me know if you have any nice two two strand projects that you can recommend like give me a link in the comments below and that'll be great because i'd love to see those and i hope that you've enjoyed this and you get a lot of happiness from seeing somebody get something done i know i do in a week and it gives me something to podcast about too which is fabulous <laughs> so um, let me know, uh, what you're working on too. If you're working on something in the comments below, um, if you're a new subscriber, please, uh, comment below and say, Hey, I'm, you know, for me, it would be, Hey, I'm Mindy. I'm from Syracuse. I did that on a couple lives this week. Um, I went to the affordably crafty live, um, with yarn geek the other day. And I've been, on Saturday mornings, I've done that for the past couple of weeks, and I've really enjoyed that time because I was working on my sleeve, my second sleeve during that, and got the sleeve done later that day. So it was nice to have that chunk of time. I don't know what it is about people talking that kind of gets me into stuff. I don't have enough subscribers to do a live yet, and I would love to, but um, if, so if you want to subscribe, please do. Um, and let me know what you're working on. Let me know if you have any patterns for two skeins at a time. And let me know what you think. See if there's any content that you would like to see besides, hey, this is what I'm working on. So have a great week and go craft something because it is really good for your mental health.